you know, I think there's this interesting thing about what, whether there's fear or whether there's mistrust. Mm -hmm. and, and I sort of, I read that question initially as why do people fear their governments, which is a very different question. Um, I think that often governments don't fear their people, they don't have to because they know that they're controlling it and that the people don't do that. But, but for those who do and recognize that, it's, it's about holding on to power. It's about status quo. I mean, we see this in the, you know, in the campaign now. Our two, uh, our two sort of most unusual candidates, Trump and, and Sanders, and I don't want to conflate them too much, but the people who are, who are flocking to them, in both cases, are flocking to them because they're tired of the status quo. They're tired of what they perceive as the corruptness of politicians or the power structures they don't understand and they can't react to. So when you then see uh, a blackout of Bernie Sanders, essentially, in the news, which we know is connected to you know, government or, or at least establishment realities, when you see uh, Trump treated as sheer demagogue clown and, and the actual dangers he represents being ignored, then I think that speaks a lot to government's fear of, and power structure's fear, of things being changed by people being knowledgeable.